we feel that parking should be prohibited on all major thoroughfares. Uh, parking on a major thoroughfare creates turbulence, and curb turbulence in turn creates a reduction in capacity and also a potential traffic hazard. Do you feel that there might be accident re reduction also? Uh, we definitely do. About a year ago, about 18 months ago, we prohibited parking on 12 thoroughfares in Dallas. We experienced a 13% reduction in mid-block accidents on these 12 facilities. They are attempting to enforce a 24-hour parking ban, uh, which we feel is unnecessary. Uh, the reason is that we have a partial parking ban uh, until 9.30, another one starting at 4, and during these hours traffic is heavy and the streets are clear for it. Between the hours of 9.30 and 4, uh, are, there's very low traffic, and the people that need to do business in this area are allowed to use the streets for parking. If the ban is enforced, what do you feel will be the consequences? Uh, I think it will result in the um, um, a decline in the real estate values as well as the uh, appearance of the real estate and uh, will be a sore thumb for a period of time until it can be removed. race now? Uh, Teal, I would say, well, Teal, it seems to me that the two political factions uh, in the, uh, pertaining to the educational, uh, the LEAD and CGS, has joined forces to strengthen their power of the board to control. And uh, I challenge, is this what the people of Dallas wants? This is important. Uh, the two groups have betrayed the voters of Dallas. And this is also important. The two-party system is no longer remains within the Dallas Independent School District. Uh, it is just one party now, and we are concerned with it as individuals and as taxpayers of this beloved city. I know from experience that certain minority groups are not getting the representation that they should. And let me also point out that the school system should be run for the school children and that their interest is number one on our list. It should not be run for Milton Tobin, Port Burgess, Dr. Nolan Estes, or Oscar D. Mackey. It belongs to the people and it should be kept this way. Reverend Washington, if the apartment house uh, had been authorized by the council, would it have been burned? Uh, honestly, I, I can't say that it would have been, but from statements that were made, I feel that in the end that this could have happened. 
Is this sort of thing going to happen again the next time something is uh, uh, against the grain of the people? Do you feel that uh, the black versus white threat is going to come up again and that, uh, again, the people will say, all right, if you, don't, uh, if you don't see things our way, we're going to change them by whatever means is necessary? Uh, honestly, I guess I would have to say that I feel that these people will use any means that is at hand uh, verbally in the beginning to get their point across and to try to win their arguments. Once it leaves that now, I feel that they will go to the natural steps that the revolutions have gone through in America, and in the end, you just have something that you don't want. A 32-year-old Fort Worth man, Bobby Wayne Johnson of 2501 Northwest 25th, died about 11 o'clock last night of injury suffered in an auto accident in Benbrook. Johnson and a 35-year-old companion from White Settlement had been in a car pursued by 42-year-old W.C. Manning, Manning, the owner of the El Dorado Motel. He told police he thought the pair had stolen a color television set from one of the units in his motel. The Hotel Texas in Fort Worth is the host for the 1,000 members of the American Quarter Horse Association who headquartered in their organization in Amarillo. The people are here for a three-day business and awards meeting. Among other things, the American Quarter Horse Association is the registration point for all of the horses known as the quarter horse breed. They also have been active and an information source for the horse racing issue which has faced Texas legislators and voters over the past several years. The Tarrant County Commissioner's Court met in regular session this morning. About the only thing of note was Skeet Richardson's bringing up once again the question of whether much money, which is currently in the right-of-way fund, could be moved to the road and bridge fund and thus into public service. The right-of-way money, according to Richardson, is just sitting there drawing interest. We're not buying any right-of-ways. We don't, he says, plan to buy very many. And consequently, we have a lot of tax money, which we're not using for anything. He proposes that it be moved to the road and bridge fund, which some say is illegal so that it can be used for constructive purposes, perhaps, among other things, a juvenile detention center. In Fort Worth, Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News.